Coast Oak Reviews. Today, we're reviewing a whiskey by Dark Arts Whiskey House. And this is their straight rye whiskey finished with toasted Ambarana oak staves. Said it's 54% alcohol by volume or 108 proof. Around the label it says small batch. Uh, bottle number 473, batch number 7. Mash bills 95% rye, 5% malted barley, and it does say age seven years right on the front. We'll say very nice uh, artwork on the front of the bottle. On the Dark Arts website, it says three barrel small batch blends. Uh, blends vary 68 years old, always bottled at 108 proof, 600 to 750 bottles average batch yield. That says the uh, mash bill again. Originally distilled in Indiana. Finished blended and bottled in Lexington, Lexington, Kentucky. Each blend is unique. Uh, so I do believe that this is MGP juice. Uh, so me and Eric uh, over the weekend went to a whiskey event where they had um, a bunch of different uh, whiskeys to taste. And uh, Dark Arts had some samples there from what I tried. Uh, this one stood out to me. So I grabbed a bottle. Uh, with the $50 ticket for the event, you got a $30 gift card for the store and a tasting glass, which was a pretty good deal. MSRP on this is 90 bucks. At the store, they had it for 100, but everything was 10% off, so it was uh, 90 plus the $30 um, or minus the $30 gift card. So I actually got this bottle for 60 bucks. So not bad. Uh, yeah, without further ado, let's pop it open, pour it up, check out the appearance. We got a synthetic cork on top. Go for the pour. We got our Glen Karen here. All right. So, some very nice color to this one. It's a, uh, it's a, a um, dark honey color. And then at that 108 proof, it does have some decent alcohol eggs, I will say. Nose. I get cinnamon sugar. Vanilla and um, some citrus, like orange citrus candy. Touch of mint and some oak. Maybe like a dark chocolate note in there as well. Caramel, but the cinnamon sugar combined with that strong vanilla note kind of reminds me of like cinnamon toast crunch. And then I also get this um, like baked apple pie like aroma. So it smells pretty sweet. Not really getting much ethanol on the nose as well. Uh, yeah, it smells really good. Let's dive in and try it out. Cheers, guys. Mouthfeel is really nice. Definitely coats the palate. So, once again, I get that cinnamon sugar sweetness combined with that vanilla. Totally reminds me of like Cinnamon Toast Crunch with this. I think that's why I purchased this bottle because it stood out, it was unique. I haven't had anything with the Ambarana Oak Staves or anything Ambarana finished and I've been wanting to try them. Um, I've heard some good things and uh, kind of sold at this point. Um, you get that citrus candy as well that I look for in a rye. The oak on the finish is uh, not overpowering. It's not tannic or anything like that. I will say that this is a, definitely a sweet whiskey. Um, somebody who doesn't necessarily like sweet stuff might not be a big fan of this. I really enjoy it. Yeah, that uh, vanilla note is very prominent as well. So like you get that, like I said, that cinnamon sugar combined with that vanilla note. And then there's like a touch of some apple and orange so you're getting this kind of like bakery spice so you get like a 
kind of like the like the nose as well we get this apple pie bakery uh, flavor it's pretty unique touch of the mint um, that does a good job kind of working with the citrus and the vanilla to make them not overpowering um, but I do get like a slight maybe like spearmint gum Hundred and eight proof, very dangerous. Doesn't drink like that at all. Really not getting much warming in the chest. Um, but that's also probably because of that intense sweetness that you're getting on the palate. This is really good. Um, if I didn't get all the discounts, would I pay 90 bucks for this? I think I would purchase a bottle of this again, for sure. Um, yeah. It's uh, it's unique. The flavor profile is really good. It stands out for sure. Then you get that caramel in the background. But yeah, bakery spice, cinnamon sugar all day. Cinnamon toast crunch is what I keep going back to. Now I do think that they did an awesome blend with this one. Now they do say the batches may vary. Um, I saw a bottle online that was like six and a half years. This one's seven. Um, and of course it has to be the minimum age to put the age statement on the bottle. Um, besides the cinnamon sugar, there is a touch of that spice um, that lingers. The finish lingers for sure the vanilla and the cinnamon sugar linger and then also a little bit of that minty aspect is left on the palate very good crushable I will say um, this would be a really cool bottle to bring to um, maybe like Thanksgiving with that apple pie kind of bakery spice aspect I can see this going pretty good with a uh, slice of pie for Thanksgiving, um, any type of pie, um, but I think it would go best with probably apple pie. As far as a number, I really enjoy this. I like this. I really want to try more Ombrana finished stuff or Ombrana Oak Stave uh, whiskeys. I'm gonna go 95, 95 out of 100. Um, I know that's kind of high, but. When I went to this whiskey event, I was looking for something that really stood out to me and was unique and uh, kind of was a different change of pace from what I have behind me. And uh, this one worked out pretty well. Like I said, I'm gonna recommend it, even at that 90 bucks. Uh, you can totally tell that there is some true craftsmanship into this bottle of whiskey. And uh, yeah, there you have it. If anything else you guys like to see on my channel, make sure to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and upcoming videos. Like a beer. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.